My name is Max Lawhon, and this is a short video about me. So, let's get started. I'm 12 years old, I live in Incline Village, Nevada, where I homeschool. This is my first year homeschooling, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm even getting to take a few online college courses for MIT. Let me be the first to say, welcome to my laboratory. This is where I can work on inventions, projects, and experiments. I've been working on some pretty cool stuff lately, and it's going quite well. One of the things that I've been working on is the design for the fusion engine. After NASA said that it might be possible to squeeze together atoms with electromagnets, it opened up a new train of thought for me, and I've uh, kind of gotten far. I've designed an integration system that allows hydrogen atoms to be squeezed together, creating nuclear fusion. Um, but I'm running into a couple problems. Will the engine be able to stand that? I don't know, I'm still calculating. Another project that I've been working on is a real rocket engine that will go on the back of a small boat and power me across the lake that I live on. I've got some basic calculations behind me that will help me crunch to see if it's possible. Yes, there are gonna be some challenges, but I like taking the risks that are necessary to go places where nobody has gone before. This is pretty cool. A real life Dexter's laboratory. Yeah, that's what he said. A whiz kid with a very powerful idea. Max Lahan shares his story in tonight's Someone to Know. Do you think a 13 year old could change the world? Well, this one might change your mind. Dressed in his lab coat. Yeah, I, I wear this uh, fairly often. Max Lahan sits in his parents' old boiler room, converted into a lab. I am in a boiler room right now. And he ponders the future often. The future that I imagine is the future, frankly, that we all imagine. He wants to make the world a better place. And to do that, you need one single thing. If you got energy, you got power, you have everything. So to solve this problem, a few months ago, Max took the matter into his own hands and created this electromagnetic harvester out of a coffee can, some wire, two coils, and a spoon. This cost me 14 bucks. The harvester conducts radio waves, thermal and static energy and turns it into electricity. This wire takes the energy from the air. Down below here, we turn it from AC into DC. So we take the device outside and wrap up Max's brother into a string of LED lights. Bing! <laughs> a $14 invention was able to do that. So imagine the same harvester on a scale 20 times larger. I'm very proud of him. Max's family is thrilled with what he's accomplished, and nobody is more impressed than his twin brother, Jack. Creating free energy, a device that he made in his lab out of 15 bucks, which is pretty amazing. As cheesy as this sounds, from day one on this planet, I knew that I was put on here for a reason, and that reason is to invent, to bring the future. Max has always admired Albert Einstein and inventor Nikola Tesla. They taught him a little bit more than just science. Make the world a better place, to give the world what it doesn't have so that it doesn't have to struggle in basic things like energy. Max isn't in it for the money, or the recognition. My true goal is to help, to invent a future where people can be happy, people can be safe and sound. That's one kid with a whole lot of power. And believe it or not, Max is already taking online college courses from MIT where he hopes to attend full time in a few more years. Now, if you know somebody with a story like Max's, you should